Hello friends, it's Brianna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As we're approaching 2024, I wanted to do a video talking all about my goals that I've set for the next year. They are separated into three different categories, that being career, lifestyle, and wellness. So this video will be broken down into a few different chapters. You can find them right here and you can skip ahead to whatever is most relevant to you if you want or if you'd like to watch the whole video, I really appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get started. I do want to quickly apologize for my voice because I am slightly sick. So if it sounds a bit weird, that's why. But before we jump into my goals for next year, I wanted to do a quick little 2023 reflection. I had one big goal for this year, which was to travel more. And this year, I definitely did. I had 10 different trips, which I'm really grateful for. And the reason for my goal this year being travel is because last year, I was living in Aberdeen. That's where I did four years of uni. And with COVID and everything, I didn't really travel much at uni. I barely did any traveling like for leisure, if that makes sense. I pretty much just went home once or twice, but I didn't do lots of travel and exploring and it's something I really wanted to do more of after graduating because Aberdeen in Scotland is quite difficult and a little bit more expensive to get to because the biggest airport would be Edinburgh and so because I moved to London last year in the middle of the year after graduating one of my big goals was really to use you know the multitude of airports here in London and actually explore a bit more especially around New Europe that was my biggest thing and I went to quite a few different places and it was amazing like all of my trips this year I'm so so grateful for them I got to travel with some new friends from work one of my older friends from uni I got lots of trips with my boyfriend and it was just a really really great travel year and I'm happy to say that because it was my biggest goal for this year it's what I wanted to put most of like my time off of work and a little bit of like savings towards was traveling so that was really great and worked out really well for me but that's definitely not gonna be my goal for next year i need to save my money and time and put it to other things which we're going to talk about all in this video of course also for this year 2023 i wanted to start posting more consistently on youtube and i'm so happy that i have because i tried to start this youtube channel last year in i think around september time shortly after moving to london and i got three videos out one of my actually like best performing video was last year which is my like apartment tour after moving to london i managed three videos and then i don't know really what happened if it was just too much time or I didn't like plan enough I'm not too sure but I just didn't continue it and YouTube has been something I want I've been wanting to do for so so long like literally for over 10 years now I've been wanting to pursue YouTube as like this full-time career thing so in 2023 I said I'm gonna start posting more consistently and I'm so thankful that I did because it's been such a rewarding journey I've reached over 500 subscribers now and I'm so grateful for all of you and it's just given me such a fun like hobby and career path to pursue like outside of my full-time job so posting consistently on YouTube has been something I've been doing now for about six seven months I started in around May I believe was my first video this year and I've been posting pretty much every Sunday I had skipped I think maybe three Sundays in the past few months due to like extreme unplanned causes I would say but outside of that I've been posting every week and I am so happy to say that I stuck to it consistently and that's definitely going to be something that I continue next year and that I'm going to be talking about in the next section <laughs> perfect segue from my 2023 to my 2024 goals we're gonna start with career because my main goal for next year is 100% YouTube I would love to make YouTube a full-time thing eventually I will be honest like being fully realistic I don't know if that's gonna happen next year that would be a dream don't get me wrong like I would love it but I don't know I don't want to set anything that is over hyping or making things like unrealistic for me but i do see youtube becoming an even bigger part of my life next year it's something that i'm going to dedicate basically like all of my time and money and holiday off of work i want to put towards youtube next year it's my main thing that i want to do so in terms of youtube my big goals are to get monetized on this channel that would be like my safe goal i believe getting monetized shouldn't be too far away i hope and then like my big big goal under youtube would be to reach 10,000 subscribers which sounds like an insane amount of people it seems like such a goal that is like far away but I believe that I can do it and I believe that we can do it together so those are my goals for like career and YouTube next year would be to get monetized and to reach 10k subs now in terms of my life or like lifestyle goals one of the things that I really want to do is to explore more of London like I mentioned I moved to London last year and now I had a full year in London and I have done so much but I want to explore London with a little bit more intent so there are mainly things like museums parks and restaurants that I really want to go to and I want to kind of make a little series here and I also want to read six books. Reading is something I've been trying to get into as more of like a passion hobby thing that I do rather than like a chore because reading to me still feels 
a little bit like a chore and I want it to be something that I do to relax and entertain myself without a screen because that's one of the biggest things I feel like nowadays I'm always looking at a screen whether it's at my job or whether it's doing YouTube or editing or scrolling social media whatever I'm doing a lot of it has to do with a screen so I really want to get more into reading and right now I have been reading just it's really slowly that I'm reading and it's difficult for me to want to pick up a book over pick up my phone for example or watching something on TV so I'm slowly trying to change that and so my goal for next year will be to read six books and these can be fiction or non-fiction books doesn't really matter and then under my wellness goals I want to keep on running more consistently I've slowly gotten back into running this year I did a 5k for the first time in like five years I think which was so so rewarding and I want to keep doing that and pushing myself to do more running on a consistent basis and I want to do that for like my physical health and my mental health I just know that running is something that maybe once I'm doing it is a little bit difficult but I always feel so great afterwards and there's so many great benefits from running so I definitely want to keep pushing myself to run more and then my last goal which is also another wellness category is to focus on my hormones I'm going to be doing quite a big thing which is getting off birth control for the first time in five years and I'm gonna try to regulate my hormones more naturally through like food and exercise and regulate my cycle that's gonna be a huge part of next year for me in my personal life I do want to try and do like a series or a video like update a few months or a year after getting off birth control because it's such like an interesting thing it can be very scary because i have no idea how my body's going to react yeah we'll get into that in a second but my last goal wellness wise is to regulate my hormones <laughs> For this section, I'm going to go through all of my goals and tell you a little bit about how I plan on achieving those goals. We're gonna start with career, which was all about YouTube. With YouTube, I wanted to mainly get monetized next year, but a dream would be to reach 10K subscribers. And the way I'm planning on doing that is to continue to stick to posting a video a week on Sundays, but I'm also going to start posting three shorts a week. Next year, around February time, you can expect to start seeing my regular Sunday upload, but also a new sh YouTube short on Monday. Wednesday and Friday so I think that by posting like by keeping on posting a video a week on Sundays and also increasing the amount of shorts that I post that's really going to help me gain more traction and more viewers and hopefully in turn subscribers and I also am going to plan ahead for example in March I have a two-week trip to Brazil where I won't really be filming and editing and uploading while I'm there so I need to make sure I plan ahead film and edit my videos so that while I'm there they're ready to go out and I don't have to worry about it so for YouTube my main two things will be to plan ahead and stay consistent with uploading and upload more shorts wise I feel like my voice sounds so bad and the more I talk the worse it's getting next for my lifestyle goal I'm gonna start with the exploring London one like I mentioned I've been living in London for over a year now and I have done some exploring but it hasn't been too intentional it's been mostly because I'm just doing something with friends or family and I want to use this time that I'm here in London because it's not somewhere I see myself necessarily living like full-time and settling down so I want to explore as much of it as I can before I go that will take a few years though it's not like I'm leaving in the next few months but I still want to be more intentional starting next year with like exploring my target is to explore 24 new places the reason why I did 24 is because that's an average of two per month but because some months I may or may not be here like I said with March I have like a two-week trip in Brazil as long as I have 24 across the whole year and it averages out to around two a month that's fine and I'm gonna be doing this by keeping a little notion board tracker so in the end of this video I'll be making a notion page with you all titling out the different goals that I've set for this year so I can keep track of them and I might turn those into shorts as well so it, it will be like an exploring London series that I'll be doing my YouTube shorts for next year and then the second lifestyle goal was to read more I think I mentioned it in the previous section but my goal is to read six books next year that's because that's an average of a book every two months I know that that is extremely slow for most like avid readers for me like I said it's something that takes a lot of effort and energy and that's what I'm working towards changing but because I want to focus so much on YouTube and I'm still gonna have a 30 hour job that is like physical it's not remote I still won't have that much free time because a lot of it will be dedicated to YouTube so I want to read but not make it this huge challenge on myself where I have to read a book every two weeks or a book a month but also with this I'll be keeping it a track of it in notion and I might also do some shorts I'm not too sure I think the main thing that's gonna help me with the reading is I'm gonna try and set like non-negotiable reading time each week I haven't decided what that is yet if but I'm just gonna try like my overall goal is to read six books in the year and whether I do that all 
in the time of a month or if I do that across the whole year I don't care how long it takes me to finish the books as long as I get six through next year and last but not least we have the wellness category for my running plan my goal is to keep on running consistently because my goal is to run to stay active and for my physical and my mental health it's not to win races Type of thing i don't really care too much about how fast i'm going or how far i'm going i just care about how often i'm running so my goal is to run minimum once a week every week unless i'm on holiday again bring up the brazil thing because it's already planned i'm going to brazil for two weeks in march most likely won't be doing any running there but i'll still be like active in a different way so if i'm on holiday it doesn't count but on my regular life here because i won't be traveling as much next year i want to be able to run at least once every single week and i'm gonna keep a running log as well in ocean which we're gonna build after i'm gonna include the date the time location so like if it was an indoor treadmill run or if it was an outdoor run and then i want to put also my like cycle phase i'm trying to regulate the hormones so once i get into hopefully a more regular cycle i can also put the phase that i'm on and see how that made me feel my run time and distance and then i also want to write my mood before and my mood after i want to kind of track all of this and see if i find a pattern where running indoor or outdoor helps or in the phase of my cycle or i don't know just the distance, time. I just want to track a little bit more about my running journey. And then the final goal, which is under the wellness category, is regulating my hormones. That is something that I'm not too sure yet in terms of how much I'm going to share online. I want to do a series, but because it's really personal and a lot can be affected when you get off birth control, I'm going to first see how it goes. I think I'll document along the way, but I may or may not share it. And I'm just saying this here now so that you don't expect anything. My plan is to try and regulate my hormones mainly through food and exercise. So eating less junk food, drinking less caffeine and less alcohol and trying to eat more nutrient dense foods and also to exercise more regularly. We're going to see how all that goes. It's going to be very new to me because I've never lived my adult life off of birth control hormones, which is really weird and kind of scary to say in my opinion. So I'm very interested to see how this goes, but I have no idea how it's going to go, how it's going to affect me physically or mentally. So you may or may not get an update on this. I'm hoping to do one, but just, I don't know, I don't want to make any fake promises. But those are all of my goals for next year and how I plan on kind of achieving them. In the next section, we're going to dive into Notion and I'm going to be kind of building a little Notion board of my 2024 goals tracker. And then by the end of next year, I'm going to be filming a video for you guys going through all of this. And that's my plan to kind of keep myself accountable because I'm going to set a reminder on my phone, like my calendar for next year in December. And regardless of how successful I was or not at these like goals i will be talking about them here on youtube for you guys to see so make sure you stick around with me through all of next year if you have some goals that you've set for yourself you can write them down in the comments below of this video and then in the comments of my video a year from now which seems so far away you can write a little reflection of how it went if you achieved your goals or not because that's what i'm going to be doing for you guys let's dive into my notion page now so I finished doing my notion pages I'll quickly show you what they look like I kept them really simple so for example on my YouTube one there isn't really a way for me to track I already have like a content calendar so it's just gonna be my goals here and I can check it off once I've reached them for my explore London here's my little table so it's gonna have a name and entry so I put an example little Venice which I want to visit here it has type so you can see there museum park restaurant landmark other or borough the date that i visited it and then my rating so from one to five stars and it says enter here because inside this it's actually a page so i can write on this section um right here a little journal entry if i want to do so about visiting that place then for lifestyle reading I have a table where I'm gonna have the title and the author, the genre of the books, the number of pages, the start and end date, and then also one to five star rating section here. Then lifestyle, sorry, wellness running. Here is where I have everything that I mentioned earlier. So the run type, I'm just gonna give it a name. 
the date and time that I did it in, the location, was it in the treadmill outside London or if I do it eventually run somewhere else, I can add that here. The cycle phase that I was in, the run time, the run distance, my mood before and after. And then last but not least, my lifestyle. This is meant to say wellness, I just realized that. So let's change that. Wellness, um, regulate hormones, I'll be doing that after on my own as I don't know yet how much I'm going to share. That's everything for today's video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to give a like down below because that really helps me out. If you already know one or two of your goals for next year, please do comment down below because I would love to see it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!